Hello everyone, welcome to Physics 221 Lab 8 EM Induction. Um, today we're going to be learning about uh, induced currents uh, based on changes in the magnetic field, uh, hence the induction name. Uh, to do that, um, we have solenoids, which are loops of current or loops of wire. Uh, ours will look like this, um, and we'll change the magnetic field inside of them um, to see how that causes a change uh, in the current produced. So, to measure that, we have something called a galvanometer, which is this. Um, as you may notice, it measures in microamps, so it's tiny, so we're not looking at large currents here. Um, and the first thing we want to do is get familiar with the galvanometer, which is why we have this currently set up and not one of the solenoids. So what we have is a power supply, which is going to supply our current. Uh, we have the plus side hooked up to the plus. We have the minus side hooked up through a large resistor to protect the galvanometer. Um, this will limit the amount of current produced so that we don't blow out the galvanometer. Um, and that goes into the minus side. And what we're really curious about is what direction the needle deflects when a current is applied. And so um, the power supply supplies current out of the red, the plus side. So when I turn it on, we just want to see what direction the needle deflects. And so when we apply a current, um, hopefully it's clear enough that you can see it's deflected to the right. And so the needle is going to deflect to the direction that current is coming in. So if I swap leads so that current came out of the left, so if I swap these black and red leads, um, the question is what direction would current come in? And now it would be coming in the minus side and so it deflects to the left. So the galvanometer itself, we're not so concerned about the number, but we want to know what direction the needle deflects so we know which side current is coming from. Um, or what direction, more specifically, what direction current is flowing. So it flows through the loop, through the galvanometer, and back to the power supply, but the needle deflects to the direction that it's coming in, not to the direction that it's going out. So um, that's the gist of how you use the galvanometer. We'll hook up the solenoid and apply different magnetic fields to it and see which way the galvanometer deflects to help us determine what direction the current is coming from and so um, we'll then use our right hand rule to figure out what direction current is flowing through the solenoid and then what direction the change in magnetic field is.